Hi, I'm David O'Loughlin, and I'm the Mayor of the City of Prospect, and welcome to the summary for the Council meeting for the 28th of March 2017. The full version of the meeting will, of course, appear on the YouTube video in a couple of days, but this is just a short uh, snap summary uh, to make sure that you understand the issues before that video goes up. Um, we had uh, only a few matters of interest on the agenda tonight. Uh, the Audit Committee uh, has met and its recommendations came through to Council and they have recommended that Council form a combined uh, information technology strategy that incorporates all the good oil from our overall strategy right through to our involvement in the Intelligent Communities Forum. So that'll be great to have an integrated strategy pulling together about four or five strands. We had an event evaluation report on the uh, terrific uh, prospect for 2017, our, our largest event by far, it attracts more people than anything else in the city. This year, 15,000 people, um, 51 traders on board, uh, four stages with entertainment, 210 kids on the Loopy Kids ride. It was just huge. But if you're interested in the economic impact, uh, how much of the waste we recycled, how much we think people spent on the night, how much they downloaded from ATM machines, we have an enormous amount of data. But what we really look for is how much it lifted our profile, and all that information is in that report. So you won't find it on the video, drill into the Council agenda for tonight and you'll find a terrific report on uh, that event called Terrific. Thank you. Now the next three items are all regarding the uh, Community Hub Library and Innovation Centre in one way or another. The first was a progress report on how things are going. <coughs> Sorry, the second was an answer to a question on what would happen if we kept the tram barn uh, and what would that do for the uh, revenue and expenditure forecast to develop the facility? And that answer was provided that it would have an impact that would have to be covered by further borrowings and interest of potential rate rises. And then the third part was uh, to start the expression of interest process for the sale of the depot site. Um, that was amended, that motion, to be really clear that we're going for expressions of interest, not committing at this stage at all. Uh, of course, some people are quite concerned that we sell anything, and some specifically the tram barn. We're merely asking the uh, development and the investment industry for what their ideas are, not committing to accept any or all or even part of them. We want to know what they would do. And we reserve all our rights uh, to take action or not take action uh, down the track. So the amendment was to really make sure that's very, very clear. And uh, I commend Councillor Harris for putting that amendment forward. Um, next we had a discussion on footpath trading fees uh, for our outdoor dining, which I know you all love, uh, and decided to have some very minimal fees and a four-year term for those people who are applying for it, to make it as easy as we reasonably can uh, for people to engage in the outdoor dining, because we really love it too. And there was an item there about a response to a request from the Ombudsman uh, to review uh, the writer review process. He's asked every council, all 68, to respond to some standard questions and improvements, and we very much embrace that process, and we love getting feedback from, uh, from the Ombudsman. So they were the matters of importance tonight. So there was another motion under general business uh, to seek to have a report come back to council about if we did keep the tram barn, uh, what would it cost to upgrade it for that other use? Uh, what would it cost in terms of the extra borrowings and the interest impact on our budget and rates? What would it cost if we were to keep it and upgrade it and operate it as a community hub? What would it cost to staff it year in, year out? So there, it's a very, very important question that Councillor Barnett has put to us and we've decided to support that request for a report because, of course, we need that information should we want to retain it. We need to know the cost impact. And the second part of her motion was what would happen to other projects should we seek to uh, keep the tram barn. So would we have to defer any projects like Broadview Oval, which of course we're trying to get closer to starting, or the Main North Road upgrade, or the Prospect Road undergrounding, or the Charles Kane Reserve upgrade, or any number of great ideas that you and others have had about our city. So very important motion. Uh, other than that, I um, hope to see you at one of the Roosters games uh, this season. First one coming up on Good Friday. I'm sorry I can't be there, but a couple of councillors will be. Uh, go to the Roosters. It is the year of the Rooster. Surely this is the one where they can make it all happen. I'm David O'Loughlin. Have a great month. See you in April. Bye for now.